How are we doing fish tankers? Jason here, Perth Cichlids. Today, we're going to answer some of the questions that I'll get answered. So, the first one is, how do I know when my cichlid is holding? So, we'll just show you what to look for. So, we'll try and get... There we go. If you have a look under the neck there, you see a little bit of a bulge. And this one, this one doesn't have the bulge. There's another one with the bulge. Another one with the bulge. No bulge. And they'll also they won't be interested in food, so you'll always see them hiding at the back of the tank when you're feeding. So it's quite noticeable if you know your fish. So what do you do? You can leave them in the tank and let us spit naturally they'll get eaten but that's an option we can put her into a tank of her own or we can strip the babies out I'd recommend hold, letting her hold for at least 10 days Because after 10 days, you probably won't need an egg tumbler. But if you do it before 10 days, I'll just show you. There we go. That's an egg tumbler. These just run off of here. Yeah. That's an option. So, when I talk about words like holding, what does holding mean? Holding means when the um, female has eggs in her throat. That's um, what I mean when I say holding. Um, what else? So, when I say strip or stripping, that means we take the eggs out of the mouth and you can use a, um, like a cable tie or something like that. So that's what that means. And what do I mean when I say let her spit? Spit means she will release the eggs, what say, 21 to 28 days later. So she'll release the eggs on her own. You could probably leave the female in there for, I don't know, let's say three or four days, then take her out. Um, yeah, feed her up well before you put her back into the um, breeding tank. So yeah, there's some of the um, words. I'm not sure that everyone knows what I'm talking about, so I'll just clarify that. And you have to excuse the um, scruffiness. It means sick for like two weeks. Winter's hit. And um, yeah, under the weather. So what else? I'm going to show you... If you do strip, the stages of the egg so you know whether to put it in a tumbler or you can just put it in a net or you can just put it straight into a tank. So we're going to do that. So this is what they will look like when um, it's time to take them out of the tumbler and to put them into a tank. You don't want to put them into a tank with any fish bigger because they will eat them. If you see their bellies, you can just see a little bit of egg sac still there. The egg sac is the brown thing you see there. As they grow, they um, consume that, and you can just see that there's still some egg sac left. So we'll put them in the tank, and we probably won't feed them for at least 
two more days. So when these ones consume that egg sac to the same stage as the other ones, we'll take these ones out. But yeah, try and keep them all separate, especially if you're doing Malawis and peacocks, Malawi peacocks, because they're all the same. So we need to put them all in separate tanks. So if you strip the female and the eggs come out like this, then they're going to need to go into the tumbler. Same as these ones, they're going to need to go into a tumbler. If you strip the fish and they look like this, they can go straight into a tank. Same as these ones, you can still see some egg sack, but they can go straight into a tank. These ones are borderline, you could probably put them in a net or a tumbler because they do move by themselves at that stage. So, what I mean, put them into a net means just hang the net over the tank, put them in there with a bit of air movement underneath. But you won't want to put them in with any fish bigger than say these two or three centimeters because they will eat them through the net. So that's another thing to watch out for. So I think we'll um, strip those dragon bloods next. That's what we use. That one's fallen into the tank. I'll show you one couple here. They're just ties with a little loop. We put that little loop there in the mouth just to open the mouth gently. And most of my fish are trained, so they pretty much just spit them straight out. So let's go and strip the um, dragon bloods. Okay, so I've caught the females. You get your little thing. If you can zoom in, probably it doesn't matter. So, usually I just strip them in the tank they're in. But this is just for um, today's purpose. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There's a big clump of unfertilized there. Did you see that? Hopefully that came up on the camera. Looks like we've only got one fertilized egg. So I'm just gonna pop her straight back in. So you just grab a turkey baster. Well that's a bit sad, only one egg from that one. Yeah, they're all unfertilized so... So they go straight in the bin. So we'll get the next one. Hopefully have a bit better luck with this one. Whoop. Here we go. Oh, these ones are free swimming.
This may seem really cruel, but as soon as you put them back in the tank, they're pretty much forgotten. And as they get bigger, once you do this, they just spit them all out because they know what's going on. These ones are still young. This is probably only her second time. So she doesn't really know what's going on, but I think it's better to strip them than to starve them for 28 days. Okay, so that's it from that one. Chuck her back in. Grab my turkey baster. And these will go into a different container because they're at a different stage. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we'll just put that container as aside, and if we get um, more at the same stage, then we'll add them to that one. So, let's get number three. I thought there was only three holding, but there's, there was four, six. It's really hard with this thing. Look, I'm not hurting the fish at all. I'm only holding it loosely, that's why it keeps flopping out. I'm sure I'm going to get a few dislikes. But hey, we all do things our own way, don't we? She doesn't want to let them go. I think there's a heap of um, unfertilized eggs in there. That's why she's having trouble spitting them out. Yeah, that's what happened. They're all unfertilized. There we go. There's a couple that look to be fertilized. Yeah. yeah so there's another clump in there, so it's all blocking her out. So it's probably a good thing we did strip. If you remember what stripping means, this is stripping. But yeah, she was chockers. So she was clogged twice, so she was struggling. That's what was stuck in her mouth. To put that straight back in the bin. All the other legs, eggs look not too bad. So they're at a different stage again, so we need another container.
this is probably good because I could show you all the different stages like we were talking about earlier so there we go, this is just a soft drink bottle I'm not sure how they're going to go, but we'll, we'll chuck them in a tumbler. Okay, next fish. Oh, these ones are free swimming, so we'll be able to put them with the other ones. This plastic thing on top here, that's just um, from the kitchen section in your local shop. Okay, that's that one done. Free swimming, so we'll put them in here. I think there was 16 in there, was there? So that's 20, 23, 24, 26, 29, 30, 31, 32, where'd it go? I think it escaped into the bucket. If you remember, these are the dragon bloods where I um, did the how to build a colony. So check that video out. Drop a comment below. Give us a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get 20 likes. Oh, we've got eggs again. You can see the other female trying to pick them up, but, but she can't because her mouth's already full. I've just seen the um, other one that's in a bucket. Yeah. I haven't had any problems mixing eggs from different females. I don't think too much can go wrong. So we've got, we've probably got three different stages of egg development so far. Yep, she's holding as well. Remember what holding is? Eggs in the mouth. We talked about that before. Let's see how far along she is. This one's cranky as. Yep, I know. You'd be cranky too if I was doing this to you. Oh, that's good. This is a 
different stage again so I'll have four different stages to show you like I said five minutes back in the tank she'll have a feed and she'll forget all about this how do I know this? because John KG Tropicals told me <laughs> there we go, I think that's it you know I couldn't find one of these anywhere in my suburb I went to five different shops and I had to buy it off eBay in the end how ridiculous is that? find that one in the bucket Anyway, I won't bore you with that. So let's have a look at the egg form. It's hard to do this by yourself. I should have got young Caleb from down the road to help me out. So that's the egg form. You don't want to keep them in this container too long. You want to get these straight on the air. So I'll do that now. So this is what they look like after about, let's say, maybe 10 days. You can see there's still heaps of um, egg sac. So these could go into... <coughs> oh, I nearly choked to death. These could go in a, um, a net with a bit of agitation underneath but since I've got the tumblers I'll just put them in there and these are free swimming so these will go into a net for so let's say a week and then I'll put them into the grow out room in a tub but yeah that was good got three stages of fry or not fry but really small fish so here they are in the tumbler as you can see you might be able to see a few eyes and a little bit of tail these are probably five days how weird is it that the um it grows outside the egg these ones are a bit older like i said before there's a couple in there that look a bit challenged so we'll have to find out what females producing that and she'll have to go somewhere else there's a few challenge ones there you can tell with the tail I'll try and zoom in on one that's a good one there that one see how the tail bends around they're usually a bit special so you want to find out what females doing that and um, stop breeding them So we'll turn the air up on a bit on this one but yeah thanks for watching I hope, I hope I taught you something like I'm no expert this is the way we do it see you all on the next one